Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting video on my channel. Today we will be making an easy cloth hanger. This tutorial is going to be totally beginners friendly so all of you can easily follow along. But before we start, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already then please subscribe. And if you love my work and want to support then you can follow me on my Patreon. And if you want the finished blend file then you can get it on my Gumroad page. So let's start modeling. Delete the cube. Drag the reference image directly into your scene. Alt G and Alt R to clear all transformations, RX90 to rotate, press 1 on your numbered keypad to go to the front view, uncheck perspective, deck to front and turn down the opacity. I'm also gonna align the image to the center. I'm just gonna make our reference image unselectable so we don't accidentally keep on selecting it again and again. So now Shift A, select circle. Reduce vertex down to 12, RX90 to rotate it. Now tap to go to the edit mode, select these vertices, press X to delete. Now A to select the rest of the vertices and take them to one side. Now scale them down. Keep on scaling till it's quite close to the reference image. We can manually correct this one. Now what we'll do here is to press A to select all of these vertices, then duplicate. Keep in mind you have to duplicate the vertices in edit mode and not in object mode. Otherwise you may have to join them later on to merge vertices. Now press SX-1 to flip it, then take it to the other side. Now select this vertex, E to extrude, extrude again. Keep on extruding and remember to keep it close to the reference. Now it's the same process for the other side. We can see we have two vertices here which we want to merge. So what we will do here is to click this option and check auto merge. And in snapping select vertex. So now select one vertex, press G while keeping the control button or command button pressed. You will see your vertex will snap automatically on the other vertex and it just didn't only snap, they also merged. And you can see we only have one vertex now to work with. Now we will fix the bottom, E to extrude. Extrude then press Ctrl or Command to automatically snap it over to the next vertex and merge. And now for the top hook, select this vertex, extrude it and now keep on extruding. We are done here. Tap to go back to the object mode. Now go to the modifiers tab and select subdivision surface. It got smoother but our model also lost its shape. We will be quickly fixing it now. Tap to go back to the edit mode. I am gonna select this vertex and move it down and you can see our subdivided mesh starts going down. You can see it by the thin line right above the vertex. It's now in its proper place and we can also see the edges are not aligned perfectly. We can fix them by selecting these two vertices and subdivide them. Select the new vertex and press double G to slide it close to the other vertex and it's fixed. We will now be fixing the rest of the model. Well, we are done. So if you want a low poly model, you can keep the subdivision level on 1. And if you want a close up shot, then increase the subdivision level to 2 and then Ctrl A to apply it. Now select the model, right click, convert to curve. Now in curve settings, click on geometry and in bevel, we will be increasing only the depth to 0.02 meters. You can also use 0.015 meter, it's totally your own choice, which look is the best for you, you can go with that look. Now once again, select the model, right click and convert to mesh. The model is almost complete, the only thing left is a tiny little gap in the hook. Tap to go back to the edit mode, while in vertex select mode, alt left click to select all these vertices. Now E to extrude, then S to scale it down. 
Now click on face, then select grid fill. Now right click and shade smooth. Also check auto smooth. Now it's time for shading. Click on new. Increase matte lake all the way to 1 and decrease the roughness to something like 0.3 or 0.25. It's totally your choice. And this is it. One more additional thing here. Uh, while making a hanger, you want its origin right on the hook. For that, go to the front view, shift right click to place the cursor right on the hook, then go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. So now if we rotate it, it will be rotating right from the hook, like it's hanging onto something. So now light up your scene and in cycles your models will be looking something like this and also in Eevee you can see the models are looking pretty nice. Well this is it for today, hope you liked the video and if you did then please like the video and subscribe so you're always updated of my new upcoming videos and in the end big love to all of my patrons and to all of you guys for showing me all the support. Well see you in my next video, you all take care till then and happy blending.